Today's Far Country Tall Tales and True is about monkeying with chance. What's that? What does that mean? Monkeying with chance. One of the most delightful yet nonsensical pictures once given to support evolutionary theory is that of a group of monkeys, each one seated in front of a typewriter. If each monkey strikes randomly on the keys, they will eventually write a complete sonnet of William Shakespeare. This will emerge as a result of pure chance. Such a picture has been suggested by evolutionists. Obviously, a very, very, very long time is assumed, but the analogy is clear. What we might think is impossible as a result of mere chance is bound to happen, given long enough. It occurs as the result of the accumulation of very small changes over the passage of deep time. But is this idea really tenable? Does it prove anything at all? The answer is a resounding no, in my opinion. A little thought will soon show how hard it would be to produce even a solitary line of a single sonnet. There's simply not enough time in this or a billion, billion other universes. What's required here is an infinite length of time to do it, and that's a very strange and difficult ask indeed. The improbability is so great, in fact, the example's utterly unworkable. As an analogy, it failed. Science has moved on. The ardent neo-Darwinist Richard Dawkins really didn't want to acknowledge the problem with the analogy in his book The Blind Watchmaker. He concluded his book by suggesting that evolution has the power to dissolve astronomical improbabilities and explain apparent miracles. Perhaps, but probably not. If we look beyond Dawkins' scientism, it would still seem that the origin of life remains shrouded in mystery, and many of the brightest scientific minds have said so. The mistake Christians make is to think that the Bible provides a credible scientific alternative. It does not. What the Bible does do is present a drama, a play, which was conceived as a universal story. And in many respects, so it has become. The ancient science in it is simple, uncomplicated, but of no relevance today. The Bible's relevance comes to the fore when we enter into its mythical world, with a gift of imagination as well as intellect. But even more, it requires the insight to see the New Testament affirmation that love is being created in all its material and spiritual forms. We have evolved to become that love's potential, but there's even more evolution to come in order to live up to the promise and the hope within. I'm David Bell. Join me again next week, same channel, every Wednesday and Thursday. It's easy to subscribe, just click the purple yellow button below right on the screen, or the subscribe photo at the end of the video, along with other viewing recommendations for you. And thanks for watching.